The Boeing 727 is a mid-size narrow-body three-engine jet aircraft built by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. It can carry 149 to 189 passengers and later models can fly up to 2,400 to 2,700 nautical miles non-stop. Intended for short and medium-length flights, the 727 can use fairly short runways at smaller airports. It has three Pratt & Whitney JT-8D engines below the T-tail, one on each side of the rear fuselage with a center engine that connects through an S duct to an inlet at the base of the fin. The 727 is Boeing's only trijet aircraft. The 727 followed the 707 Quad Jet Airliner with which it shares its upper fuselage cross-section and cockpit design. The 727-100 first flew in February 1963 and entered service with Eastern Airlines in February 1964. The stretched 727-200 flew in July 1967 and entered service with Northeast Airlines that December. The 727 became a mainstay of airlines' domestic route networks and was also used on short- and medium-range international routes. Passenger, freighter, and convertible versions of the 727 were built. The 727 was heavily produced in the 1970s. The last 727 was completed in 1984. In July 2011, 23 727-100s and 227 727-200s were in airline service. Airport noise regulations have led to 727s being equipped with harsh kits. Development The Boeing 727 design was a compromise among United Airlines, American Airlines, and Eastern Airlines requirements for a jet airliner to serve smaller cities with shorter runways and fewer passengers. United Airlines wanted a four-engine aircraft for its flights to high-altitude airports, especially its hub at Stapleton International Airport at Denver, Colorado. American, which was operating the four-engine Boeing 707 and Boeing 720, wanted a twin-engine aircraft for efficiency. Eastern wanted a third engine for its overwater flights to the Caribbean. Since at that time twin-engine commercial flights were limited by regulations to routes with 60-minute maximum flying time to an airport. Eventually the airlines agreed on a trajet. In 1959 Lord Douglas, chairman of British European Airways, suggested that Boeing and de Havilland Aircraft Company work together on their trajet designs, the 727 and DH. 121 Trident, respectively. The two designs had a similar layout, the 727 being slightly larger. At that time Boeing intended to use three Allison AR963 turbofan engines, license-built versions of the Rolls-Royce RB163 Spey used by the Trident. Boeing and de Havilland each sent engineers to the other company's locations to evaluate each other's designs, but Boeing eventually decided against the joint venture. De Havilland had wanted Boeing to license build the DH-121, while Boeing felt that the aircraft needed to be designed for the American market, with six abreast seating and the ability to use runways as short as 4,500 EFT. In 1960 Pratt & Whitney was looking for a customer for its new JT-8D turbofan design study, based on its J-52 turbojet while United and Eastern were interested in a Pratt & Whitney alternative to the RB-163 Spey. Once Pratt & Whitney agreed to go ahead with development of the JT-8D, Eddie Rickenbacker, chairman of the board of Eastern, told Boeing that the airline preferred the JT-8D for its 727s. Boeing had not offered the JT-8D as it was about 1,000 lbs heavier than the RB-163, though slightly more powerful. The RB-163 was also further along in development than the JT-8D. Boeing reluctantly agreed to offer the JT-8D as an option on the 727 and it later became the sole power plant. With high-lift devices on its wing the 727 could use shorter runways than most earlier jets. Later 727 models were stretched to carry more passengers and replaced earlier jet airliners such as the Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8 as well as aging prop airliners such as the DC-4, DC-6, DC-7 and the Lockheed Constellations on domestic routes. 
for over a decade more 727s were built per year than any other jet airliner. In 1984 production ended with 1,832 built and 1,831 delivered, the highest total for any jet airliner until the 737 surpassed it in the early 1990s. Design The airliner's middle engine at the very rear of the fuselage gets air from an inlet ahead of the vertical fin through an S-shaped duct. This S duct proved to be troublesome in that flow distortion in the duct induced a surge in the centerline engine on the takeoff of the first flight of the 727-100. This was fixed by the addition of several large vortex generators in the inside of the first bend of the duct. The 727 was designed for smaller airports, so independence from ground facilities was an important requirement. This led to one of the 727's most distinctive features the built-in airster that opens from the rear underbelly of the fuselage, which initially could be opened in flight. A hijacker known as D.B. Cooper parachuted from the back of a 727 as it was flying over the Pacific Northwest. Boeing subsequently modified the design with a Cooper vane so that the airster could not be lowered in flight. Another innovation was the auxiliary power unit, which allowed electrical and air conditioning systems to run independent of a ground-based power supply without having to start one of the main engines. An unusual design feature is that the APU is mounted in a hole in the keel beam web, in the main landing gear bay. The 727 is equipped with a retractable tail skid that is designed to protect the aircraft in the event of an over-rotation on takeoff. The 727's fuselage has an outer diameter of 148 inches. This allows six abreast seating and a single aisle when 18 inches wide coach class seats are installed. An unusual feature of the fuselage is the 10 inch difference between the lower lobe forward and aft of the wing as the higher fuselage height of the center section was simply retained towards the rear. Nose wheel brakes were available as an option to reduce braking distance on landing, which provided reductions in braking distances of up to 150 m. The 727 proved to be such a reliable and versatile airliner that it came to form the core of many startup airlines fleets. The 727 was successful with airlines worldwide partly because it could use smaller runways while still flying medium range routes. This allowed airlines to carry passengers from cities with large populations but smaller airports to worldwide tourist destinations. One of the features that gave the 727 its ability to land on shorter runways was its unique wing design. With no wing-mounted engines, leading-edge devices and trailing-edge lift enhancement equipment could be used on the entire wing. Together these high-lift devices produced a maximum wing lift coefficient of 3.0. The 727 was stable at very low speeds compared to other early jets but some domestic carriers learned after review of various accidents that the 40-degree flap setting could result in a higher than desired sink rate or a stall on final approach. These carriers' pilots' operation handbooks disallowed using more than 30 degrees of flaps on the 727, even going so far as installing plates on the flap slot to prevent selection of more than 30 degrees of flaps. Noise The 727 is one of the noisiest commercial jetliners, categorized as Stage 2 by the U.S. Noise Control Act of 1972, which mandated the gradual introduction of quieter Stage 3 aircraft. The 727's JT-8D jet engines use older low-bypass turbofan technology, whereas Stage 3 aircraft utilize the more efficient and quieter high-bypass turbofan design. When the Stage 3 requirement was being proposed, Boeing engineers analyzed the possibility of incorporating quieter engines on the 727. They determined that the JT-8D 200 engine could be used on the two side-mounted pylons, but the structural changes to fit the larger diameter engine fan diameter in the JT-8D 200 compared to 39.9 inches in the JT-8D 7, into the fuselage at the number 2 engine location were prohibitive. Current regulations require that a 727 in commercial service must be retrofitted with a hush kit to reduce engine noise to stage 3 levels. One such hush kit is offered by FedEx, and has been purchased by over 60 customers. After market winglets kits, 
originally developed by Valson Partners and later marketed by Quietwing Corporation have been installed on many 727s to reduce noise at lower speeds, as well as to reduce fuel consumption. Kelowna Flightcraft's maintenance division in Canada has installed winglets on Donald Trump's private 727-100. In addition, Racebeck Engineering developed packages to enable 727s to meet the Stage 3 noise requirements. These packages managed to get light and medium weight 727s to meet Stage 3 with simple changes to the flap and slat schedules. For heavier weight 727s, exhaust mixes must be added to meet Stage 3. American Airlines ordered and took delivery of 52 Racebeck 727 Stage 3 systems. Other customers have included TWA, Pan Am, Air Alga Copyright Rye, Tame and many smaller airlines. From September 1, 2010, 727 jetliners are banned from some Australian airports due to noise. Operational history, in addition to domestic flights of medium range, the 727 was popular with international passenger airlines. The range of flights it could cover meant that the 727 proved efficient for short to medium range international flights in areas around the world. Prior to its introduction, four engine jets or propeller driven airliners were required for transoceanic service. The 727 also proved popular with cargo airlines and charter airlines. FedEx Express introduced 727s in 1978. 727s were the backbone of its fleet until recently, but FedEx is now phasing them out in favor of the Boeing 757. Many cargo airlines worldwide employ the 727 as a workhorse, since, as it is being phased out of U.S. domestic service due to noise regulations, it becomes available to overseas users in areas where such noise regulations have not yet been instituted. Charter Airlines Sun Country, Champion Air, and Ryan International Airlines all started with 727 aircraft. The 727 saw some military use as well. Since the aft stair could be opened in flight, the Central Intelligence Agency used them to drop agents and supplies behind enemy lines in Vietnam. The 727 has proven to be popular where the airline serves airports with gravel, or otherwise lightly improved runways. The Canadian airline First Air, for example, previously used a 727-100C to service the communities of Resolute Bay and Arctic Bay in Nunavut, whose Resolute Bay Airport and former Nana Civic Airport both have gravel runways. The high-mounted engines greatly reduce the risk of foreign object damage. According to the Boeing Jetliner Databook, the Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System, also known as Conair, currently uses four 727 aircraft to transport persons in legal custody between prisons, detaining centers, courthouses, and other places to where they must be transported. A military version, the Boeing C-22 was operated as a medium-range transport aircraft by the Air National Guard and National Guard Bureau to airlift personnel. A total of three C-22BS were in use, all assigned to the 201st Airlift Squadron. District of Columbia Air National Guard. At the turn of the 21st century, the 727 was in service with a few airline fleets. However, due to changes by the USFAA and the ICAO in overwater flight requirements, most major airlines had already begun to switch to twin engine aircraft, which are more fuel efficient and quieter than the three engine 727. Also, the 727 was one of the last airliners in service to have a three-person flight crew, including a flight engineer, a crew member whose tasks have been largely automated on newer airliners. Faced with higher fuel costs, lower passenger volumes due to the post 9 11 economic climate, increasing restrictions on airport noise, and the extra expenses of maintaining older planes and paying flight engineer salaries, most major airlines have phased 727s out of their fleets. All major United States airlines phased them out before the 2000s energy crisis. Delta Airlines, the last major U.S. carrier to do so, retired its last 727 from scheduled service in April 2003. Northwest Airlines retired its last 727 from charter service in June 2003. 
the 727 is still flying for some smaller startup airlines, cargo airlines, and charter airlines. It is also sometimes used as a private means of transportation. The official replacement for the 727 in Boeing's lineup was the Boeing 757. However, the smallest 757 variant, the 757-200, is significantly larger than the 727-200. So many airlines replaced their 727s with either the 737-800 or the Airbus A320. Both are closer in size to the 727-200. As of July 2013, a total of 109 Boeing 727s were in commercial service with 34 airlines. Of these, five were 727-100s and 104 were minus 200s. Variants Data from Boeing Aircraft Since 1916, there are two series of 727. The initial 100 was launched in 1960 and entered service in February 1964. The 727 200 series was launched in 1965 and entered service in December 1967. 727 100 The first 727 00 flew on February 9, 1963, and FAA type approval was awarded on December 24 of that year, with initial delivery to United Airlines on October 29, 1963, to allow pilot training to commence. The first 727 passenger service was flown by Eastern Airlines on February 1, 1964, between Miami, Florida, Washington, D.C., and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A total of 571 727-00-100 series aircraft were delivered, the last in October 1972. One 727-100 was retained by Boeing bringing total production to 572. The A100 designation is a retroactive one to distinguish the original short-body version. Aircraft for United Airlines were delivered as 727-22, for American Airlines as 727-23 and so on a euro not minus 122 and minus 123 a euro and retained these designations even after the advent of the 727-200. 727-100C, Convertible Passenger Cargo Version Additional Freight Door and Strengthened Floor-on-Floor -floor Beams Three Alternate Fits, 94 Mixed Class Passengers, 52 Mixed Class Passengers and 4 Cargo Pallets, 8 Cargo Pallets, 727-100QC, QC stands for Quick Change. This is similar to the convertible version with a roller bearing floor for palletized galley and seating and or cargo to allow much faster change over time. 727-100 QF, QF stands for Quiet Freighter. A cargo conversion for United Parcel Service, re-engined with Stage 3 compliant Rolls-Royce Tay turbofans. Boeing C-22A. A single 727-30 acquired from the Federal Aviation Administration, which was originally delivered to Lufthansa. This aircraft served mostly with United States Southern Command flying from Panama City slash Howard Air Force Base. Boeing C-22B, four 727-35 aircraft acquired from National Airways Corporation by the United States Air Force for transporting Air National Guard and National Guard personnel. 727-200 Stretched version of the 727-100 The minus 200 is 20 feet longer than the A100. A 10-foot fuselage section was added in front of the wings and another 10-foot fuselage section was added behind them. The wingspan and height remain the same on both the A100 and A200, respectively. The original 727-200 had the same max gross weight as the 727-100. However, as the aircraft evolved, a series of higher gross weights and more powerful engines was introduced along with other improvements, and, from line number 881, 727-200s are dubbed a 200 advanced. The aircraft gross weight eventually increased from 169,000 pounds to 209,500 pounds for the latest versions. 
the dorsal intake of the number no. 2 engine was also redesigned to be round in shape, rather than oval as it was on the 100 series. The first 727-200 flew on July 27, 1967 and received FAA certification on November 30, 1967. The first delivery was made on December 14, 1967 to Northeast Airlines. A total of 310 727-200s were delivered before giving way to the 727-200 ADV in 1972. 727-200C, convertible passenger cargo version. One was built. 727-200 advanced, MTOW and range increased. Also, cabin improvements. 727-200F advanced, a freighter version of the 727-200 advanced became available in 1981 designated the series 200F advanced powered by the Pratt & Whitney JT8D17A engines and featured a strengthened fuselage structure, an 11 AFT 2 inch by 7 AFT 2 inch Ford main deck freight door and a windowless cabin. This was the last production variant of the 727 to be developed by Boeing, and 15 aircraft were built, all for Federal Express. The last 727 aircraft completed by Boeing was a minus 200F advanced. Super 27, speed increased by 50 mph, due to replacement of the two side engines with the JT-8D-217 or the JT-8D-219, which are also found on many MD-80s along with the addition of hush kits to the center engine. Winglets were added to some of these aircraft to increase fuel efficiency. This modification was originally developed by Valson Partners, but was later marketed by Quietwing Technologies in Redmond, Washington. Boeing C-22C, a single 727-212 aircraft operated by the USAF, operators. As of June 2013, 188 Boeing 727 aircraft are in commercial airline, private and government service. Most airlines have small numbers but the following operate five or more aircraft. As of March 2014 Iran Air uses two 727-200s and is the only major airline that still uses 727-200s in its fleet. Amarijet International, Cargojet Airways, Kalita Charters, Kelowna Flightcraft Air Charter, Lanese or Copyright Rees Sure Americanas, Rio Linas or Copyright Rees, Total Linas or Copyright Rees, Iran Asman Airlines, Government, Military, and other operators. In addition, the 727 has seen sporadic government use, having flown for the Belgian, Yugoslavian, Mexican, New Zealand, and Panama Air Forces, among the small group of government agencies that have used it. The United States military used the 727 as a military transport, designated as the C-22. A Benin, military of Benin, a Bolivia, Bolivian Air Force, a Burkina Faso, force or copyright Ryan de Burkina Faso, a Colombia, Colombian government, Colombian Air Force, a Democratic Republic of the Congo, force or copyright Ryan du Congo, a Djibouti, Djibouti Air Force, a Ecuador, Ecuadorian Air Force, an Iraq, Iraqi government, Sail Alden, a Mexico, Mexican Air Force, Federal Preventive Police, a Mongolia, Mongolian Air Force, specifications, data from Boeing aircraft since 1916. Accidents and incidents. As of 2010, a total of 325 incidents involving 727s had occurred including 112 hull-loss accidents resulting in a total of 3,783 fatalities. The 727 has also been in 178 hijackings involving 345 fatalities. Orders and deliveries Source, 727 Model Summary, Boeing, Aircraft on Display The following U.S. museums have Boeing 727s on display or in storage. Carolina's Aviation Museum 727 Cockpit on Display, X Rouge 727 in storage at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, Museum of Flight First 727 completed, still in restoration stage. To be flown to museum when finished. Another 727 is currently on display.
National Museum of Commercial Aviation, Atlanta, Georgia Euro X FedEx 727 in storage at Atlanta Airport. Museum of Science and Industry, Chicago, X United Airlines 727, Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum A cockpit portion of a Boeing 727 in FedEx livery is on display. Kansas Aviation Museum, Wichita, Kansas X FedEx 727-100C on display. Outcome County Regional Airport, Appleton, Wisconsin X FedEx 727-200 on display. Museum of Flying, Santa Monica, California Nose portion of X FedEx 727 on display. Florida Air Museum, Lakeland, Florida X FedEx 727 on display. A Boeing 727 is also used as a meeting room and eye catcher for the Communication Bureau 727 in Stilling, Denmark. It can be seen from the motorway E45. See also Trijet, 2012 Boeing 727 crash experiment, related development, Boeing 707, Boeing 737, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Hawker Siddeley Trident, McDonnell Douglas DC-9, 2 Polar to 154, Related Lists, List of Airliners, References Connors, Jack. The Engines of Pratt and Whitney, A Technical History. Reston. Virginia, American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. ISBN A978-1-60086-711-8A, World Airliner Census. World Airliner Census. Flight International, Volume 184, Number 5403, 13 Euro August 19, 2013, PPA 40 Euro 58. Himmelsbach, Ralph P. Worcester, Thomas K. Nojak, The Investigation of D.B. Cooper. West Lynn, Oregon, Nojak Project. ISBN A978-0-9617415-0-1A, external links, Boeing.com 727 Family, 727 Prototype on Rubbergash.com, Boeing-727.com site, Fatal Boeing 727 Events on Airsoft.com.